You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Amanda Kinseth. And Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in the area, then it's on Carolina and Company Live. Hello everyone, my name is Morgan Godfrey and I'm from the Scholars Academy and it's time now for Carolina and Company Live, the show that keeps you informed about everything happening in the area. Now here are Amanda and Cecil. Hey, hey, welcome to the show. It is a Tuesday and we have a busy show today. We have a lot of things going on in the community that we need to talk a about. A lot of things happening. If you want to know what's going on in the area, you got to tune in this show every day at noon. Then we rebroadcast at night uh, at 10 o'clock on CW21. That's right. Good job. This is where it all right. happens, right? <laughs> that is. You got it. This together. is where everyone finds out what's going on, including us. Today we <laughs> have. What is it from Ted Gregg? He always brings right. something from the Civil War Museum. So uh, we'll take a look at that today. And you can try to guess what it is. And uh, I don't like the weather. What do you mean you it don't was like it? nice and it just keeps getting Well go colder and talk to the meteorologist, man. Colder. I can't help you on that part. <laughs> Well, Amanda, you'll, you'll like this afternoon, albeit it's going to be a bit breezy out there, but at least the sun's going to be coming out and we'll actually hit the 70s today. But enjoy it while we can because it is going to be much cooler as we go through the rest of the week and even through the weekend. Our cold front's pushing on through right now, and we're already beginning to see some clearing west of 95. Sunny skies are starting to break out. We'll even see some peaks of sunshine along the Grand Strand here, and then full sunshine as we go through the midday, I should say, at mid-afternoon into the evening hours. Temps are already jumping to 61 in Hartsville and Darlington, 59 in Myrtle Beach. We will We'll see as that sunshine comes out, these temperatures jumping up into that 70 degree range, plus or minus one or two degrees from 70 this afternoon with plenty of sunshine. Now it is going to be breezy and very dry, so we do have to watch out for an elevated fire risk this afternoon into the evening. Now the winds will diminish a bit tonight. Skies clear through the late evening and overnight. By daybreak tomorrow morning, more clouds are beginning to return back in. We'll drop down, though, into the upper 30s to low 40s before all is said and done. A much colder airflow coming in across the area over the next three days as high pressure builds into the south. Southeast. Our next system approaches us, though, heading into the weekend. That'll still keep us in the mid to upper 50s for your highs, but now we're including rain chances. Slight chance on Friday, better chance on Saturday. I know, Cecil, you don't like seeing rain on Saturday for your car shows, but on Sunday, there is a better chance for rain across the area. On Saturday, we will see one of our coolest days. If we get some cooler air wedging in from the north, we may struggle to get to those low to mid 50s for the highs with cloudy skies, so just be aware of that and enjoy the 70s out there in the sunshine this afternoon. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. I'm Tracy Vreeland, executive producer at News Channel 15. Here's what we're working on today. We'll get a tour of the damage today at Windsor Green Condos in Carolina Forest. Fire destroyed 26 buildings and 109 units over the weekend. Although no people died in the fire, many lost pets and still some haven't been found. We'll see how the animals are being identified and how you can approach those who may be wandering around now without a home. And we'll tell you about a major loss of jobs in a PD community. Employees say they had no idea it was coming. That's coming up tonight on WP. PDE News Channel 15 at 6 and 7. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. A lot of stuff going on. You yes, know what I'm talking about? absolutely. There's oh, really? a ton of stuff going on. I mean, there's always something going on. And we want to pass this on now. The Rotarians from throughout District 7770 will be in Myrtle Beach this Saturday, March 23rd, for their annual conference is taking place. And they'll also be working with uh, helping Help for Kids Backpack Buddies. They'll be packing some 2,400 to 3,000 lunches to feed kids over the weekend. That's taking place at the Marriott Grand Dunes in Myrtle Beach. So Rotarians, you do a great job and you'll keep on working. Yeah, hard. that's right. Starts up at 2.30. So if you want to pack some stuff for the that's kids, right. a really great program, Backpack Buddies and Help for Kids. They help out a lot of kids. Okay, so this morning I was with the drama department and the music department at Carolina Forest High School and they are performing Phantom of the Opera. They are doing a very special thing tonight. They are hosting a benefit show and the proceeds will all go to those fire victims. So uh, head over to Carolina Forest. The show starts at 7.30 p.m. tonight. And let me tell you, these kids are so talented. I was blown away really? by how well they could wow. sing and dance and perform. They do such a great job. So Carolina Forest High School, Phantom of the Opera, tonight, 7.30. Get over there, and it all benefits uh, the fire victims. And they've got a donation box. And get this, the donations that they collect, Walmart will match that. Up to $1,500. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, isn't that, that great? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. It's time now 
for birthdays and know it all. I'm, I'm here now. You don't, you don't oh, need don't to need use that, that anymore. Right? I use That's those back when Amanda was out having a baby, and I found them <laughs> in my office pretty cool. All right, today's Tuesday, March 19th, and this is Let Laugh, Let's Laugh Day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a lousy laugh. All right, and it's also Great American Meat Out Month. Eat meat, meat out. out. You know, eat, eat meat, meat out. Yeah, eat okay. Meat. Okay. Vegetarians, I'm sorry. Birthdays today, 1936, Ursula Andrew. Oh, you what? remember this girl. Did you pick out that picture? No, I didn't, but that is <laughs> 1977. She was in the movie. That's from the movie, uh, James Bond movie, Dr. No, in 1962. Boy, what a good-looking lady, and she's 77 today. 1947, Glenn Close. She's 66. Boy, you remember that one. Fatal Attraction. Oh, man, that movie scared me. 1955, Bruce Willis. He's 58. Die Hard star and uh, Sixth Sense. I got to interview him at Planet Hollywood. He walks down the red carpet with no shirt on. <laughs> on this day in history, it was 1931. Nevada legalizes gambling, and they've been going strong ever oh, since. Yeah, they have. 1953, the 25th Academy Awards, the greatest show on earth. Gary Cooper and Shirley Booth win, and it was the first time it was televised in 1953. 1974, Jefferson Starship begins their first tour. All right, here it is from the Know It All department. Are you ready? Ready. All right. Bert and Ernie. That's <laughs> you got it. The characters <laughs> Bert and Ernie on Sesame Street were named after Bert the cop and Ernie the taxi driver in Frank Kappa's It's a Wonderful Life, starring oh, Jimmy Stewart. Interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you've seen that show, A Wonderful Life, everybody has. That's where Bert and Ernie got their names from. Bert the cop and Ernie the taxi driver. Which one's Bert? Bert's the which one's Bert? Yeah. You mean from Sesame Street? Mm hmm The one on the left? <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. That's from the know it all department. We have a great show for you today. Coming up next is What Is It? So stick around. A lot of hammers should be swinging over the next few months. Permits for builders to start new projects are at the highest in five years. Plus, a growing number of homeowners are looking to renovate. Harvard's Joint Center for Housing Studies estimates spending on remodeling in the 12 months through the end of September will be up 20% from a year earlier. And you know the housing recovery pulled another 200,000 homes out of negative equity in the last three months of 2012. But CoreLogic says that still leaves more than 10 million homes, more than one out of every five with the mortgage underwater. All right, a lot of buzz surrounding Apple's move to create some kind of iWatch. Turns out it's not alone. Galaxy smartphone maker Samsung is also developing one, racing against Apple to create a new industry of wearable devices that perform similar tasks to phones. A Samsung exec tells Bloomberg they've been working for a long time on products of the future and they see the watch in that mix. No time frame on when we might see it. And that's the latest in business. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Jane King with the Bloomberg Midday Report. The Bloomberg Business Report is brought to you by LLC.com. Running a business without being incorporated is like walking a tightrope without a net. One little misstep could cost you your entire business, your personal assets, and even your life savings. But now you can quickly protect yourself by incorporating or forming an LLC. Find out how simple it is to protect your personal assets by requesting this important free guide today. Running a business without a safety net really is putting your whole future on the line. For your free guide, call 1-800-706-5532. And welcome back, Carolina and Company Live. It's time now for What Is It with Ted Grad. Ted always brings on very cool items back from the Civil War times. Yes, South Carolina Civil War Museum located right here in Myrtle Beach. And uh, you're looking at something out front here now. We want to show you this and see if any of y'all can figure out what this big thing is right here. Everybody knows this is a cannonball. This is a cannonball, That's right, right a cannonball. Oh, it's heavy. Now, this, anybody know? All right, what is it? Tell them, Ted. All right. In 1864, Christmas, Comp Sherman from the north gave the city of Savannah to Abraham Lincoln as a Christmas present after he captured it and immediately marched into South Carolina because the Yankees wanted to invade us because we had started the war. Right. And the first thing they did when they got to Columbia was to begin to zero the cannons on the unfinished State House building. And they used it as training practice and to range their guns before destroying the capital city. 
This is one of the balustrades from the Capitol building, and that's one of the cannonballs that struck it. Uh, wow. The South Carolina Institute of Anthropology and Archaeology finished a dig up there 30 years ago. They recently gave all of the items from that dig to the South Carolina Civil War Museum, and we're putting a display together now. All right, now there's the Capitol after it was bombed, after, you know, Sherman nailed it. And uh, this is a piece of the Capitol, and all of this is in the South Carolina Civil War Museum, mm -hmm. located right next to the Myrtle Beach Firing Range. That's right. And it's open to kids. It's open to everybody. Everybody. Come on down. This we're there till 8 o'clock at night. This is just amazing. We learned so much on that, and, and Ted's going to be back with us doing What Is It? Yeah, and very And I learned something every day on here. I mean, that's just neat. And yeah, now, good. was this the size of all the cannons, or did they just have different no, sizes? No, that's a, a six-pounder. That's the most common field piece at the time. Okay. The one on your hand isn't a solid shot. It's explosive. See the fuse the hole yeah. where yeah. it went in? And okay. the picture that we have in the front, of course, is where the cannonball struck. Right with this right. missing part. And there's stars on the Capitol. If you go visit the Capitol in Columbia, you'll see stars all around the building showing where the cannon where Sherman struck it. Thanks a lot, Ted. Me too. What is it? Me Man, too. all right, we'll be back again, and uh, we'll have Ted on doing some more stuff. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We've got a big music festival, the Equinot Art and Music Fest, is coming to a historic Conway on March 23rd. That's right. We've got Barbara here to talk all about it. Yes, we have uh, 40 artists lined up. We have music all throughout the day, and the Easter Bunny will be there from 11 to 2. Oh, nice. The festival's from 10 to 5, and uh, come on out. We have a great day planned. Uh, all kinds of arts and crafts. I think it's great, all the stuff that's going on in downtown Conway. Yes, yes, we got a lot going on. In fact, today at 4 o'clock, we have an art reception uh, at 4 o'clock at the Horry County Justice Center. Okay. So we have a... So you're you know, always doing something. You're going to hide the Easter eggs that day? You're going to hide the no, Easter eggs? No, we're not doing Easter eggs, but oh, we are okay. giving out candy. Giving out candy mm -hmm. to the kids or to adults, too? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> and how this long have you guys been doing the Equinox Festival? Uh, this is the seventh year. The seventh year. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Well, so we, we saw some pictures. Picture. Looks like a lot of stuff going on, obviously, yes. live entertainment. Yes. That was Gentry Rose. Susan Allen, she'll be uh, doing uh, pine needle baskets. She'll be making the baskets. We have painters, potters. So, so all anything you're looking for, you can find yes. it. Start. It's yes. on 3rd Avenue, right? right yes, 3rd Avenue in Elm. Okay. And right. a great yes. way to feature some of the local artists. Yes. And, yes. uh, you know, a great place to go pick up some Easter Some gifts. really <laughs> nice. Whatever you want. Yes. Yeah. Big selection of all kinds of things. Well, okay. events like this is where you get to see a lot of the artists, the local artists, because yes. someplace you have to go to a little diner or somewhere to see them. Mm -hmm. This way you can see a lot of them. See them all. We have the Etsy um, people coming in that to do the Etsy stores. And uh, you may not be able to meet them in person. You know, you do business with them online, but they'll be there uh, with their things and uh, a kind of... Uh, just uh, all kinds of different things that we uh, we have this year. Okay, and what can you guys do at Conway Glass? You might yeah. just think, oh, uh, just glass for your car. No, <laughs> you get to make these cool glass things. Yeah, I've been do. there a couple times. Yeah, we'll have free demos over at uh, Conway Glass, just a block over, and you can come in and watch the glass blowing. So that's kind of in conjunction with the Art and Music Festival. And of course, we've got all these great diners and uh, restaurants downtown yeah. that you can yeah, go well, get a bite. I did a show there too. I blew it, but they told me you blew better glass yeah. than I did. That's what they said. <laughs> <laughs> Always do better. It's a lot of fun. It's it is. really neat. I mean, yes. just to watch you guys do it is amazing. <laughs> and to get to try to do it yourself, I mean, you guys have classes and whatnot. Show you it's how to do really it. really neat. Okay, one yeah. more time. Tell everyone where to be this Saturday. Okay, at the Equinox Art and Music Festival. Saturday, March 23rd, 10 to 5, music all day, the Easter Bunny, and arts and crafts. Downtown that Conway, <laughs> that's the place to be. Stay with us, a lot more coming up. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Now we are talking about a show coming up at the Theater of the Republic in Conway. That's right. Gentlemen, take the stage. It's starting this weekend, and Sean's here to talk about it. Sean, tell me a little about 
gentlemen take it the, the stage. gentlemen take the stage it's just one weekend only it's a one-off production it's not one of our main stage productions it's uh, Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. and Sunday at 3 p.m. and it just features 12 of our best male vocalists the most entertaining the most energetic um, and we're just singing what we want to sing Cool. It's, yeah, it's cool. just really, it's kind of loose and a lot of fun. It's a bookend production of what we did in January. The ladies take the stage. Mm -hmm. And as the people were leaving the theater, they said, what about the men? And we said, <laughs> okay. So so now we're doing it. So it's this weekend. How many productions y'all do a year? We do six main stage productions. And then we also have one-off productions like this. Ladies take the stage, different things. So right. always busy, always busy. And we have our uh, Movies on Main classic film series. So we just, we always have something going on at the Main Street Theater. All right, now what's coming up on the movie? classic movies. Uh, actually, we have one this Saturday, and it is Rear Window, Alfred Hitchcock. Wow, that's mm -hmm. a great Jimmy movie. Jimmy Stewart. So, yeah, so it's a great, great that. movie. Yeah. So 2 p.m., and only $3, so you can't beat it. You can't beat that. And we have the best popcorn in town. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great thing. I think it's so great that Conway saved that theater. That's yes, the, that's the yes. most amazing thing, because a lot of towns have let their theaters go. It's you know, very much it's a, a cultural amenity and it's a it's a touchstone for the for the uh, artistic community here uh, in Conway and really the Grand Strand. We're very proud of it. Are you doing any singing in this production? I am actually. Are I am. What are you gonna be singing? Uh, I can't give it away. You have to you have to come and see. But they're all gonna be great songs. Like I said, great. we've got some great great performers, great voices, um, some old voices who people recognize the faces, new people who've never been around. So it's just gonna be a great great evening. Well, that'll know? be good. Yeah. Very entertaining. Yeah. How, how can somebody get involved now if they've never been in a the theater? How can they get involved? Well, you just give me a call at the office. Um, we always have all our auditions are open. So whatever production we have, um, you know, we have auditions. People People come, you make, you know, you make the cast, and uh, we just start rehearsal. So, uh, and like this show, it just has everybody from all over the Grand Strand. All of our shows really stretch down to Georgetown and up to Little River. So we truly are a theater of just the entire community. That's great. I, I always wanted to play in Oklahoma, but I couldn't sing. You know, you had to be able to sing to be in that, that yeah, production. Well, you, well, you can be a cowboy in the I background, I guess. You, you know, <laughs> just, just a cowhead. All right, tell them one more time about the shows this weekend. The gentlemen take the stage uh, Saturday, uh, Friday and Saturday, 8 p.m., Sunday, 3 p.m. Tickets only $15. You can go online and get them or call me at the box office, 488-0821. Check Thank it out. It's going to be great. Thank you so much. Stick with All us. Right. We'll be right back. Coming up next on WPDE at 1 p.m. The 2 and 5 p.m. Dr. Oz, best-selling authors breaking the man code. All right, 739 Entertainment tonight, 8 p.m. Splash, that new show coming on tonight. After weeks of preparation and training with world-class diver, they're going to dive five celebrities. All right, 9 a.m. Rachel Ray. Now check this out, three medical tests you shouldn't ignore She's got some wow. text messages coming up. Yeah, coming up at noon tomorrow, Carolina and Company Live will be back. All right, now let's find out what's going on. Michael's here. Elvis is in the building. That's right. We love to have Elvis <laughs> in the building. And now you have an event coming up. Tell us a little bit about it. Yes, uh, this Friday, March the 22nd, we'll be at the uh, Cypress Campground um, doing a show called Elvis Uncensored. Because um, in 56, Elvis was censored from the waist up. That's it. But that night, we're going to be... All ah. over. <laughs> uh, it's a variety show. We have a comedian from Hollywood. He was in a movie called Bad Boys 2. Uh, Dwayne Another Farmer's movie. our MC and uh, doing a little music. Uh, Motown tribute from Ronaldo Wright and then with the Sugar Shakers dance duo. Now the best part about the show, as you can see the pictures now, uh, the girl Morgan May, is uh, she's a local high school student. We're benefiting her. Um, as she's going, uh, she's undergoing medical uh, needs at the okay. moment. So 100% of the money goes straight to her. Oh, that's nice. That she decided that's good. And y'all let that. Dwayne MC this, huh? Unfortunately. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, no, we just, just kidding, kidding Dwayne. Dwayne. Love you. Dwayne does a great job. Though. He, he does. does a great He's wonderful. Job for now, this is pretty big. I mean, you got a number of entertainers here. We have a number of entertainers, and the best part about the, the entertainment part is uh, the Lucky Strike Band is backing us up um, the whole night. So okay. we got live... Live musicians on stage as well. Nice. Uh, How did yeah. this all come about? What made you decide to do this? I met Morgan at a uh, Halloween function where Carl Michael was raising money for her. And we talked, and her mom got with me and said, we're ready to do a show. So we got the entertainers, uh, got the facility at Cypress Campground in Socastee, 
and we're ready to rock and roll. So it's so just that's uh, cool, right? one and step at a time. It starts now. What time and all? Tell them one more time. Uh, 7.30 starts. The tickets are $15. 100% of the money goes straight to Morgan May. Uh, it's at Cypress Campground this Friday, March 22nd. It's going to be a great show. And, so you, uh, yeah. Helping out. I mean, that's really great. Yes, ma'am. That's good to do that. And I tell you, Michael, it's always good to have him on the show. He was on the show when we did all the Elvises. He's what we call the young Elvis. Yes. That's yeah. right. He that's does right. the young Elvis. Young and very talented. He taught me how to dance one morning. Strutting my shirt today. You <laughs> yeah, know, my little Elvis that. shirt. Elvis shirt on. Blue suede shoes, baby. Oh, <laughs> nice. Michael, that it's always a pleasure, better, right? my friend. Always yes. a pleasure to have you on the show. Good Thank you guys so good much. Good to see you. Yeah. Check it out this Friday, helping out Morgan May. It's going to be great. And stick with us. We'll be see right you then. You know, I've been in television for 41 years, and this is one of the most fun shows I've ever done. Carolina and Company Live is a great show. It tells you about everything happening in the community. If you want to know what's going on in Horry County, PD area, you got to watch this show. It's a lot of fun. Amanda and I really click together. I love this show, and uh, I hope it's going to continue for a long time. So if you're looking to find out what's going on in your area, you got to watch Monday through Fridays at noon. It's live. You never know what's going to happen on this show. In fact, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Now, don't forget tonight, Carolina Forest High School, the Phantom of the Opera. I've got some pictures posted on our Facebook page as well as the info, and that's from this morning when I was out there watching them sing and dance. Okay. Yes, that is coming up. We've had a great time. Thank you so much for being with us. We'll be back at tomorrow with another show with all the exciting stuff that's happening in your area. Thanks a lot for watching. Good show. See you tomorrow. Merle Beach, you're watching News Channel 15, your station.